Usually the availability criterion comes into play with news about very early research that makes it sound as though the idea is proven, available, and you can just go right down to the corner drugstore and get it. We'll often see journalism that sounds more like marketing when it predicts that an idea may soon be available or may soon be approved by the FDA. You know what, to, to writers, uh, journalists, or public relations writers, I, I would suggest leave the crystal ball at home. Leave the marketing phrases at home. Leave that to the fortune tellers. The, the trail of tears from early research to eventual failure or disapproval is long, and so is the path to success. Another aspect, though, of the availability criterion when you hear about a new device or a new uh, procedure being used in your community hospital, ask yourself, well, what's the availability of trained personnel, all the other people who need to have a hand is in this? And what's the learning curve, both for the individual physician and for the team? What's the learning curve for this approach? If it takes a doctor or a team 500 procedures, in order to become comfortable and proficient with an approach or a procedure. Do you really want to be patient number one through 499? I don't think so.